Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo, and today's video is going to be something that I usually don't do. I usually don't report on news that happens in the CSGO community unless it's really important, but it seems like this piece of news that I'm reporting on has actually affected the investment community in some way, so it is actually important to talk about it, I do believe. And so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Dreams and Nightmares collection that CSGO is going to be making. The sponsor for today's video is CS.Money. They're a great site to go to if you want to go ahead and use a fast and reliable trade bot. They have a huge selection of items on their site and of course you can trade items that you don't want anymore over to their trade bots and then they can go ahead and give you something that you want to go ahead and switch out your inventory for they also have a store that you can use which gives you a discount on the prices of the skins in their inventory and there are a variety of ways to deposit into the site including paypal which is pretty rare to see in this current market so if you want to go ahead and check out cs.money be sure to use the link in the description below Thanks. So as you're all probably aware, there was a giant hype in May that caused a lot of high tier items to go super high in price, and then obviously there was a downturn that caused a lot of stuff to drop a lot, and it kind of caused a sort of market lull. But with this new announcement of the CSGO Dreams and Nightmares collection, there actually has been a pretty noticeable pickup in the market, which I thought was pretty interesting, and I do think it is related to the fact that there is a new collection coming out. What you're seeing on screen right now is the glove case, which as you can see had a decent lull there for a little while, and then it kind of started to recover a little bit as it is probably expected with stuff that's going to drop off pretty rapidly. And then after that short little recovery, you can see the red line there marks when the CSGO Dreams and Nightmares collection was announced. And as you can see, there was a decent little jump there that has put the item actually at a higher price now than it was before the lull. Now, these price increases are nothing crazy, of course, but they definitely do show an increase in at least market activity that has happened for a lot of different items, especially liquid items. And that shows that the market definitely did see a little bit of an upturn after the announcement of this new collection. This does follow the theory that I had in the previous video I talked about with the market lull, where if there was a big event like a new collection or a tournament or something along those lines, we would see a little bit of a recovery or a push in the market that would happen because of the announcements that would kind of save us from this long-term lull that could potentially happen. Obviously, there's a chance these are just normal changes that have occurred because the market's been down for so long, but there definitely does seem to be a degree of deliberation here that I do think is attached to the Dreams and Nightmares announcement. Regardless, from an investment perspective, it's nice to see a slight upturn here, even if it is just normal market changes, but it is nice to see that we are kind of pulling out of the lull and going back to a sort of normal market. Now, another fun thing to do is just to look at some of the workshop submissions and see which ones have a chance to actually be added to the game. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the workshop submissions. Now, I have done this in the past, and the previous times I've looked at some of these skins, I've been pretty much completely wrong about them actually being added to the game, so it should be interesting and fun to see what my predictions are this time around and if I'm correct on any of them. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these submissions currently. Now if you go to the CSGO Dreams and Nightmares contest page online, they actually created this cool sort of animation that you can scroll through where it kind of shows you some of the skins that have already been added to the game to kind of give some inspiration for the skins that you can actually submit for this contest. And as you can see, there's two sort of parts here that you can scroll through that kind of go through the artwork of skins. I thought this was really cool because obviously I'm a pretty big skin fanatic if I want to go ahead and invest in them. So seeing these kind of being built using the website and, and seeing the process to creating these skins from the artwork was pretty cool to look through. So if you want to go ahead and check out this little animation thing they created, all you have to do is go to the link in the contest submission page. Now, as you can see here as well, there's actually one skin that's not even in the game, but it was on here for some reason. I guess I just kind of wanted to show how the workshop works or something, or maybe that's a leak for the upcoming case, who knows, but that skin's there as well on the MAC-10. One more note, by the way, for the winners of the contest, you actually get $100,000, so if you're an artist and you're watching this video and you're considering actually submitting a skin for this contest, I would definitely recommend doing that. Starting it off kind of basic, we have the M4A1S Dreams and Nightmares, which as you can see uses the artwork for the case that CSGO actually released already, and it kind of has that on M4A1S. I actually think the skin looks really cool, and while I don't think that CSGO is actually going to accept this just because it's a little too meta for the actual contest. If this is in the game, I won't complain. It actually does look pretty nice, and this would be a pretty cool M4A1S. Next up is a skin that I didn't think was all that interesting on first glance, but after looking at it more carefully, the USP Dragon is actually a very sick skin. It has super vibrant colors, and I think it would look really, really nice on a USP, and as you can see, the dragon head kind of goes off onto the silencer, while the rest of the skin kind of has this cool sort of Hyper Beast type logo on it. I think the skin is absolutely awesome, and I would definitely love to see this in the game, and potentially to actually get this as a skin on my USP. 
SP. It also fits the theme of the contest really nicely, so definitely a big yes from me. Next up, we have the AK-47 Fatal Splash. Now, this one, I think, looks a little bit too much like the AK-47 Phantom Disruptor, and so for that reason alone, I think the CSGO is not going to actually add this to the game, but other than that, I think the skin on its own is really good looking, and if they do decide to add it, I think it would be a cool addition. It has really cool colors that you don't see on really any other skin in the game, and I'd be really hyped to see what kind of sticker crafts can go on this. And next up, we have a pretty famed skin creator. His name's Two Minds. You may know him from the AK-47 Empress, for example. Obviously, he has a lot of really cool skins that are already in the game, and I think one of the cool ones that he submitted for this contest is this one right here, the Last Fox USP. This one comes in a few different colors, but the one that I like the most is this white version. I think this one is really unique and would definitely be a cool addition to the game, and would be a pretty unique USP to see. Now, Two Minds also submitted a few different colored AKs. These ones being called the True Kings. This one's called the True King River, and it's sort of a purple and gold design on it. I think this one is really cool as well and would definitely be a good addition to the game, but I think that the USP Last Fox is just a bit more unique and would be a better addition just in the current skin landscape. However, if this AK is added, I would not complain at all. It's very, very good looking. By the way, these are all part of Two Minds Sacred Collection, so if you want to go ahead and browse the other skins that he actually has submitted, you, you can just go to Two Minds Profile on Steam and look at his Sacred Collection. The final skin we're going to look at here is the MAC-10 Joho, which actually means castle. So in English, this would be the MAC-10 castle. I like this one a lot and it has a very unique design on it. There's not a lot of grim dark skins in CSGO. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is the M4A4 Tooth Fairy, so this would be a pretty cool addition to that sort of lineup of skins. I actually really like this one and I think it would be a fresh addition to the game. Out of all the skins we looked at, I think the only one right now that I would say has the same potential as something like the Desert Eagle Print Stream to actually go up in price after the skin's been released for a while is probably the AK-47 True King. That one's unique enough and I think a cool enough AK to where it could actually go up in price like the Desert Eagle Print Stream did. So if that one does get added to the game, I would definitely recommend looking into getting it early. If you want to check out these skins for yourself, all you have to do is go to the CSGO Workshop and then click on Items and then just find one of the Dreams and Nightmare submissions and then you can actually click on this little button here which will take you to all of the submissions that are related to the CSGO Dreams and Nightmares contest. Obviously there's going to be more skins released over time, these are just the early submissions so you can go ahead and look at those in the future and as for the case release that'll probably happen within the next two months. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Obviously it's a little bit something different looking into some news and talking about how this potentially is taking us out of our little market lull that we were in. If you guys want to see more great CSGO investing content, all you have to do is click that subscribe button down below, and of course click that like if you enjoyed the video. Also be sure to check out my Twitter, my Discord, and CS Money using the links in the description below. See you guys next time. Peace.